Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Spurkus and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Where we are, um, are back in Sessau, now Rata. And um, we got a couple of quests to do. So, <clears throat> excuse me, senor. I believe you have some wine. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised, yes, yes. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. 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 Would beer be enough? No. As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. Above Ratai? Sehr gut, you German Conrad Kant. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. Well, here's an excellent shit German accent. <laughs> like, German English is one of the worst, man. Um, like... It, sometimes it's, it, it, it's competing with, um, with French English. Because they're like also very bad they can be. Um, but for the most part, you know, French, if they shit at English and pronouncing shit, they're just not gonna say anything. They're just like, you know, they, they claim that they can speak at all. The same with Japanese, so, but the Germans, they just confidently say, oh, yes, uh, I speak in very good in Deutsch. Yeah, I, I mean English. <laughs> and, um, yeah, well, they actually suck so, 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 so bad at it, but... Oh. Hello. Archery uh, master. What do you want? A keg of wine, please. I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? Yeah, you win. I do? <laughs> Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Take care. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Yay for the competition. 13 arrows. Oh, boy. Okay, not too bad. What? All right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Ooh. That was also too shabby. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Oh, that's like in the center. Mm -mm -mm. My oh my. Look at us go in here. Oh, since when I'm so good at this. Okay, that one was pretty bad, but still. There you go. Ha! With a landslide. Pussies. Pussies! Old wretch. 
Who is old rich? Good out to you, sir. Jesus Christ be praised. Farewell. Congratulations once more. And here, as promised, a cask of the finest wine in the province. Thank you. Very nice. And we have leveled up a bowman ship. Which is finally level five. Oh. Um, wait, what does it say again? Oh. So. Yes, yeah, finally we're holding it correctly. But it's still swaying a bit. But look at this one. Mm -mm -mm. We're finally holding the bow correctly. Go at level five is where we wanted to get. Okay, and the rabbit? Why can the rabbit? Who are you? All oh, right, why are you still standing here? Piss off. And with you. Okay, so about the quests around here. Um We did we did we did the the one for the lady, so we don't need to do that one yet. But we need to punch somebody in the face. So we got a couple of things to do, like um steal. Fifty collection from Pazdizda. Where's Mr. Pazdizda? Oh, you seriously? Know, anyone... oh, it might not be to your liking, though. On account, of course, folk here don't want to have anything to do. And that's not all. You're the blacksmith's son from Scalitz, ain't you? The bailiff here could probably... He was moaning about it. All right. Bye. Stop! I need to search you. No, you don't. What's going on? Orders of his lordship. I'm... Giving the orders of his lordship. 18. If that's not enough, I don't know. I expect your superiors will have a thing or two to say about this. Look here. It's all just a simple mistake. Naturally, I wouldn't search your good self. Naturally. <laughs> We're so good at this. Where's the guard? Wait a minute. Yeah, we are at this one here, so he's over here. Probably upstairs. And probably even here. Or in here. She ever been in uh, like these kinds of wars before? This is this looks so awesome. Like this is it's just great. It's just so believable how they build these walls around here. I love it. I love it. Shut up, Dougie.
So you must be all the way downstairs then. Fine. We're not gonna steal anything yet, yet at least. You! What the hell are you fooling about? What? Who saw me? Well, nobody saw me. It is impossible, but oh, he's down here. That's the guy, S son of a bitch. Hmm. Can I get you out of here somehow? Well, I'm just gonna steal from here from him like that. Damn it! But we got a perk, so that's good. Ha! Hidden pockets. Let's go with the hidden pockets then. And now he's sitting over there. You got them. Piss off, beggar. Good day to May the Lord watch out. Whoopsie dizzy. That was close. Oh seriously? Damn it, now I need to save, man. A well, good thing. <clears throat> we just stole a savior schnapps. Is that some new kind of game? Damn, that was close. Whew. All right. Ah, we made it. <laughs> Very nice. It's just a teeny tiny bit drunk, but that's fine. We're not overfooded. We're not overfooded. Good. That went pretty, pretty well indeed. What's that? Beat Milan. Uh, we're going to do that later. What we're going to do now is to see if we can steal whatever we have to steal around here. Kunish, you... Kunish? You bastard. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. Do you really want to make me angry? You really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalets, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove. I know that already. And that someone is old Baron, who's alive and well here in Ratai. So who the hell are you trying to fool? But, But I don't have anything else. Now we can see about that. Can we not? Hmm. 
Okay, you had a book with you. Shadow play. Ha ha ha! Well, 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 would you look at that, huh? I don't have anything with me. Where, where, where? Little fuck. Hello, Mr. Guard. It appears that nobody's here. Mr. Guard. I will be leaving you. The big ass scale, the city scale. We're in a private area. But I think this is actually where we have to go. Who are you? The scribe. Trespassing. I hear that there are some books around here. And now here we have to look for it. Oh. Since nobody is around here. We'll do it right away. See if we can find the deed. Not here. Like this stupid ass lazy scribe man. In the middle of the day. And he's like, oh, I will take a nap. I mean, this is all good shit, but not what I'm looking for. I didn't want to steal again. Oh, this is a nice poster at the bed. I love it. And there it is, the land deed. Not pick up the goblets. The goblets. I'll come back here in some other time, steal some more stuff. Because they get some more uh, very hard stuff around here. And it's unprotected around here because during the day nobody is here. So it's very simple and easy to steal stuff around. Let's put this to the hose. Okay. I'll get the land to eat. So we're done here. Wait, isn't it? Where's the... Mr. Dude? Mr. Dude? Hmm. There is he. He's downstairs. There he is, Mr. Bailiff. Don't walk out in the rain. What are you here for? For you, Mister. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Don't even talk to me. Yeah, he You're doesn't like, you've like got us. A lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem is sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? Of course, I'll squeeze him out for every last time. If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. 
Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry, begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. What? Shit carriers? You're kidding me. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are... Overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. Good to know. That's all I need. To Maybe know. I can do the Good shit carrying. I need the groschen to fuck more bitches down at the bathhouse. Young man, surely you'd like to know what plans God has for you. I... Be gone, you old witch. Come now. What? Come now. Sure. Young master, the good... Hmm. Alas, young man, you will meet with great suffering. The Lord is testing you, or punishing you. Look, make restitution for all the evil you have done, and... Thank you. I thank you. God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. One question. Can I just keep doing oh, this? Hmm. Uh, I see twi- it. Thank you. I thank you. God be with you. God bless. Damn it, I don't know if I gained the reputation or not. Alas, young, make rest of you. I th God be with you. Goodbye. No. But we leveled up speech for whatever reason. Wolfram Prude, who are you again? What do you need? What's the... Well, life's good here. No, All right. Mm. Who's the activity giver over here? She's in the house. Alex! Hey, Alex! How you doing? How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. Uh, I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again any time soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so... I thought you might be able to help. I don't know. I'm not such a great hunter that I could feed all the refugees. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you, you're in Sir Radzik's garrison, and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. 
and get enough troubles, but sure, why not? Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't <laughs> suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. God be with you. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. But the bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? But what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Thanks. I'll go. Okay. Thank you, Alex. You've been a great help. Let's get and find it. Ah, goodness. Ah. <coughs> Agnes. Why are you creeping around like a footpad? Look at all the stuff he has, man. Damn it, why are you walking this way? You weren't supposed to walk that way. It's raining all the time, man. It's like. Does it ever stop raining? Hello? Oh, they're all hiding from, from the. whatever you call it again. Agnes. Could you just do something from the priest around here? Might be something. I mean, I don't, th yeah, I don't think that they would see us. We should be fine. Hey, you, stop that. Look out, a thief. Jesus Christ. Son of a bitch. A thief. Guard, come here, quick! <clears throat> There's a thief over there! Okay, that's good to know. I thought that we would have been far enough away that they can't see us. But apparently they can't. Well, I guess, um... Saving... Would have been a better choice there, but I was really sure about that. So, I guess I'm gonna take a break right here. And I thank you guys then very much for watching. Um... 
I guess I have to redo half the episode again. So yeah, <laughs> that's fun. See you then. Goodbye.